Did Tria say what her surprise be? No, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if she did. Sarah's right. The best surprises are always surprises. Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. <gasps> well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, Hi. Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh, no. If it's secret, how do we know about it? Because she's going to tell us. Right? Yes, please uh -huh. uh -huh. tell us. It's my secret... mud pool. Huh? huh? We're going to a mud hole? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. I think you kids are just going to love my secret mud pool. What's to love about mud? Oh, this mud is special. You'll understand when you sit in it. We're supposed to sit in the mud? Mm, and just let yourself go. Ah, oh, it might be nice to go and let myself go. Hmm. Oh, uh, me think, uh, uh... We were... Uh, in the middle of a game of Stop the Seed. And we did agree to finish it, right, Ducky? Uh, mud might be nice. Yup, yup, yup. But I know you cannot finish the game without me, so I will stay. <sighs> What's this? Hmm? I thought you'd be off having fun already. Dad, I don't want to go sit in some mud hole. Tria put a lot of thought into this little trip. If you don't go, I'll never hear the end of it. But, Dad... You're going. <sighs> I'll go. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Sarah. The sooner we go, the sooner we'll be on our way. And the sooner we can have fun. <sighs> Fun and a mud hole? Right. Here we are. Lovely, isn't it? Being here is even better now that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mud. <sighs> me glad we not at mud pool. Me no think mud good for wings. Now! Hey! We got it, me got it! Ugh. Me miss it. Yeah, but I won't. Huh? Look like... Tooth. Like your tooth, Chomper. My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth. Me agree, but that tooth definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! Does it hurt? No. You think it will? I am sure it will all be okay. Okay? Okay! What's next? An arm? A leg? My tail? Not my tail! What's happening to me? Me never hear of tooth just falling out. 
Never? Never? Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. Hmm. Oh, I am certain Chomper is very attached to his tail. Yup, yup, yup. It's true. I am. It starts with a tooth. And before you know it, a fella's turning to bones and falling to pieces. I don't want to turn to bones. It isn't up to you. Mark my words, by nightfall, you'll be nothing but a pile of bones. Wait! How do I get my tooth back in my mouth? Hmm. We could ask Mr. Thicknose. He's heard about all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. You came to the right place, Chopper. I've heard of many ways to stick things together. No reason they wouldn't work on teeth. You think so? Certainly, my boy. Say I and open wide. And I'll take a look inside. With some sticky tree star juice. That old tooth should not come loose. I'll fix your tooth. Flower duck might do the trick. Maybe mud that's nice and thick. You know what? I'm sorry, son. I can't fix this one. Can't fix my tooth? Cannot fix his tooth. Sorry, it's the truth. Too bad, it's the truth. He cannot fix your tooth. I am sorry none of my sticky solutions worked. Until today, I've always tried to avoid direct experience with sharp tooth teeth. If only sharp teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed tooth. But she's not here. And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then. Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. Um, not that it will happen. But... We do not know where the mud pool is. Say, Chopper good smeller. Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. What kind of a three-horn sits in mud? It's just as silly to sit there and watch, Sarah. Good point. I won't watch anymore. <sighs> we have been going to the secret mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> Huh? Uh, this way. Are you sure? Tria go in there? That's what my sniffer says. Then we go in there too. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. 
No, no, no. <gasps> oh, it's not so bad. Ouch! Something light, Petrie. Oh, boy! A buzzing buzzer! <laughs> Mino think they taste good, Chopper. <laughs> Yeah! Mmm, spicy. Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. <gasps> and he brought in all of his friends. Run! Ah! having fun. Stinging buzzers not follow us. And we are safe. You fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next. <gasps> hey, why didn't I think of it before? We can use the looking rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top. Sometimes me scare me. <laughs> Look, the mud pool, just beyond the murky swamp. That easy to find. Are you finished relaxing yet? 
Come on, Sarah. Try dipping in one toe. <sighs> Fine. It's warm. Mmm, that's what makes it so nice. I didn't say it was nice. It's still dumb. <laughs> this is supposed to make me relax. <laughs> now that you're in, doesn't it feel good? Well, it's better than usual, Mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> <coughs> to us if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Threehorn's right and I turn to bones? The mud pool's just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go. Find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fast runner with a spike tail and two three horns? Oh, hi, guys. What are you doing here? Sarah? It is you? Sarah, we have to find Ruby. It's important. Uh, follow me, please. Here we are. Ruby! We have been looking for you all day. Yup, yup, yup. Ah, I'm right here. Of course, I'm always here, since here is wherever I am. Chopper needs your help! Huh? He's not far! Come on! Follow us! Follow us! You guys really need to relax. He's right here! Are you okay, Chopper? No. My tooth is gone. Forever! What? You interrupted our relaxing day for a tooth? A tooth? One day I try to relax. You guys come out here and now, spoil now. my... Now, now. 
We're just glad Chopper's not seriously hurt. Not hurt? I'm falling apart! Have you ever seen a sharp tooth with a missing tooth? Oh, yes. Huh? I've seen it more times than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all your teeth. All of them? Ah! Normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? I feel so happy, I want everyone to see. It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me. I lost oh, my oh. tooth. some mud, and then a tooth, and now they're excited about the mud again. Hey! <laughs> Shortcut. Hmm. Well, at least I. Hey, look! I think I know that herd. I do too. It's Allie. Allie's come back. Let's go see her. I wish we had a shortcut. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, seems to follow all the way home. To the land before time.
sound very brave. Oh, yeah, Little Nick. My name is Little Foot. Well, I'm Rhett the Brave, hero of the herd, scarer of the sharp teeth. Hero of the herd? <clears throat> scarer of the sharp teeth? The ones we've seen aren't scared of flying rocks, earth shakes, or smoking mountains. Let alone little long necks. Well, they're scared of me. Tell them all about your adventures, Rhett. Well, while you kids have been living here safe all the time, I've been in the mysterious beyond protecting my herd. Stay back. I'll handle this. scared of those flying rocks. Now, another time, the herd was being chased. Go on without me. I won't let them hurt you. That was a close one. <laughs> That's some tail. I know. And then there was the time I used my tail to build a mountain of rocks that the sharp teeth couldn't climb. <laughs> heard anything yet. I think we've heard enough. We've heard plenty. So, Allie, were you with Rhett when any of this stuff happened? Um, no. That happened before our herds joined up. And you really believe that he built a mountain of rocks with his tail? While being chased by sharp teeth? Oh, well, that mountain of rocks was mostly built. But I did finish the top. See? He finished the top! Of a mountain? That's pretty hard to believe. You're just mad because you can't knock down trees with your tail. Come on, Sarah. I guess we're just not brave enough to play with Allie anymore. <laughs> Want to play rescue? Um, okay. I can't believe Allie believes those crazy stories. We were her friends. Hmm. Well, it's not fair. He can't be her best friend. I don't care. The stories he's telling are phony.
Raven with his tail. Oh, Rhett brave. Me want to meet him. No, Petrie. Rhett's making stuff up and has convinced Allie he's telling the truth. Allie thinks he's so brave, and he's not. It makes me so mad. I'm angry, too. Well, the longer you're mad, the less you're happy. So, what we do? I don't know, Petrie. But we gotta find a way to show Allie the truth. Yeah. I guess I could just try telling Allie that Red is making stuff up again. But what if she does not believe you again? What if Red hit you with tail? <laughs> we need to show Allie that Rhett's not as brave as he says. Yeah, I'd like to see what Rhett would do if a real sharp tooth came around. Hmm. Wait, what if we really did have him face a real sharp tooth? You want to bring a real sharp tooth into the Great Valley? Uh, I don't know if that plan's such a good plan. My plan is to use a sharp tooth that's already here. <laughs> There's sharp tooth in Great Valley. Ooh. Yep, and he's right here. You mean me? But Chomper is nice. He is, he is. We know Chomper's nice, but you don't know that until you know him. And Allie and Rhett have never met Chomper. Right! Now, here's how it'll work. Ah! Chomper will chase us around, pretending he's a vicious sharp tooth. shows up and asks Rhett to help him save everyone. Grr, grr, grr. Ah, but when Rhett gets scared, Allie will see he's been making up all of those stories. See? If we all pretend right, it'll work. I can pretend to be scared in. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me good at being scared. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Come on, Littlefoot. It's a great plan. What can possibly go wrong? What do you think, Chomper? It sounds kind of fun to me. As long as nobody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. We're all just going to be pretending. Then it sounds like I'll be pretending to have friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. Pretend to have friends for dinner. We'll say he wants three horn soup and little foot stew. It might be funny when he chew on you. Mm -hmm. That's not a very nice thing to do. To, to have friends. For dinner, <laughs> friends for dinner. Don't wanna be friends for dinner. Don't wanna be Spike a la mode or Flivver of Duck. You think that tastes good? Yuck! You know you've run out of luck when you're friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. So, Littlefoot, what do you say now? It probably would show Allie that Red's not so brave. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Ready? And go! Grr! <laughs> Grr! You're supposed to be scared. And you're supposed to be scary. <gasps> Guys, be serious. Start 
again. Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared it is. We need help to be saved! <laughs> Perfect! Now rush in and stand right next to me, little foot. Let's try it one more time. Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared than it. We need help to be saved! Time to show Allie what red is really like. Come on, let's play rescue. Again? Could we play tag instead? Or the pointy seat game? Or swimmer splasher? Rescue it is! Start yelling help! Sound different. That wasn't me. That was someone who really needs help. Rescue them, Red. Help! Ah! He hungry. Me scared. And I am even more scared than it. We need help to be safe. <laughs> Who's chasing you? Who? who who's hungry? He is. <laughs> Yourself. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Ah! <laughs> um, what's going on? <laughs> we wanted to show you that Rhett wasn't as brave as he said he was, so I came up with this plan. But that shark tooth, where did he come from? Oh, sorry, Allie. Meet Chomper. Hi, Allie. Sorry if I scared you. You're friends with a sharp tooth? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Chomper and Ruby live in the secret caverns. It's kind of a long story. But one thing's for sure, we are not afraid to play with Chomper. So what do you think? Do you want to play with us? Well, sure. I guess Red isn't as brave as he says he is. Where'd he go, anyway?
talking shark tooth? I've never heard of such a thing. The shark tooth. This can't be about me. He's a sharp tooth. Who cares if he talks? Let's get rid of him. <gasps> I suppose we must. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> He lives here, and he would never hurt any of us. Uh, uh, but he, he was chasing you. You were calling for help. They wanted to show me that all of Rhett's stories were made up. Stories? What stories? Um, he kept telling me that he saved his herd from many sharp teeth before we met them. Rhett, come forward. Uh, yes? Did you make up stories to fool these children? Um, um, uh, um. It's okay, Rhett. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Little ones, this is very serious. Did you see what happened when you tried to fool each other? Yes, I guess so. You may have wanted it to be a joke, but a sharp tooth attack is no laughing matter. We're all really sorry, old one. And as for you... Uh, yes? I don't know how you became friends with so many here in the Great Valley. But I think it's good. Longnecks, follow me! <laughs> we can play now. We can. We can. Me not it if we play tag. I'm too tired to be it. Hey, Rhett. Want to play tag? But I made up all my adventures. It doesn't mean we can't all have new adventures. Come on, Rhett. What are you waiting for? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. Okay, Spike, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> like a big hopper. That doesn't look like a hopper. You must use your imagination, Sarah. Yep, yep, yep. It won't look like what it's supposed to look like unless you can imagine it. I still don't see a hopper. Okay, Ducky, your turn. <gasps> that one looks like sweet bubbles. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Spike. It only looks like sweet bubbles, but it is not. No, no, no. Yeah. But maybe you can find some in the trees. <laughs> hey! Look at that one! Chomper! And he is eating the sweet bubbles. But I don't even like sweet bubbles. <laughs> no! Petrie? Spike? Spike, what you do? Oh, no! No! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall, Lord. Too hard. 
horrible to say. Me not believe it. <laughs> Spike, are you sick inside? <laughs> just ate it red tree stars. He eat tickly red tree stars. And? Everyone know you no know eat tickly tree stars. Tickly tree stars, bad luck. Everyone know that. No one knows that. I've seen this before. It's rare and very sweet. But it doesn't bring bad luck. <laughs> Spike, no! Give me bad luck, tree star! Oh. See? Me not fall if Spike not eat tree stars. That's not why you fell. Look, Petrie, if Spike doesn't eat any more tickly tree stars, will you huh? stop talking about bad luck? No, it's not okay. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who no leaf eater who eat it and get bad luck. <laughs> Uncle Toronto, that guy's full of crazy stories. Me know, and me not stop thinking about them. So try to think about something you're not thinking about. Like what? What about a different story? Ruby is a good storyteller. Yup, yup, yup. Sure. How about one that takes place in the mysterious beyond? Chomper and I were on our way to the Great Valley. And Red Claw was trying to stop us. Ew, what is that smell? I don't smell anything, but your sniffer does smell more smells than mine. Ew, it's awful. More awful than getting caught by Red Claw? Then follow me while I lead. Water just jumped out of the ground? <laughs> you have some imagination, Ruby. But I saw it too. Yeah, right. Well, maybe it's something you have to see yourself to know you saw it. Huh? You want us to go to the mysterious beyond just to see waters jump? No, Sarah. Though, it's really not that far into the mysterious beyond. Yeah, it's just beyond the sheltering grass. I would like to see the waters that jump into the sky. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I'd like to see it too. I don't believe you guys are serious about this. You'll believe it when you see it. Adventuring, adventuring. <laughs> Tree stumps. And what if bad luck come with us? Don't make a fuss. <laughs> 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 
water that supposedly jumps. <gasps> I cannot wait to see water that jumps. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> What's wrong, Ruby? Uh, nothing. Just, uh, this tree isn't as familiar as I remembered it. We lost. We lost! Oh, this is Spike's fault. He ain't bad luck, tree stars. <laughs> <sighs> How can we be lost when we're going somewhere that doesn't even exist? Oh, wait. We just go this way. And we're on our way. See, Petrie? Nothing bad has happened. There's no reason to be scared of bad luck. It have been good trips so far. Maybe bad luck get lost instead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have good trip. <laughs> it's okay. It's probably just... Scaredy eggs want to go back. That's okay with us. Me too. Well, I'm not a scaredy egg. Petrie, big scaredy egg. Oh, too big a scaredy egg to go back alone. That for sure. Hey, wait for me. Something bad happened? No, everything's fine. Let's go. Littlefoot, you are not walking the way you usually do. Don't don't worry about it. <gasps> we wouldn't have to worry if we knew what not to worry about. I stepped on a ground prickly. <gasps> oh, no, no, no! Shh. It, it doesn't hurt that bad. But if Petrie finds out... Mm, he'll think it's bad luck that brought you bad luck. <laughs> Me feel bad, Spike, so hungry. Yeah, and whose fault is that? If you weren't so afraid of bad luck, maybe he could eat. <gasps> Spike, maybe you find delicious no bad luck tree star there. <laughs> log on your head. <laughs> because Spike have bad luck. And because me think they're tree stars in log. Careful, Spike! Duck! <laughs> Spike! Up! Down! No! See? 
Spike never should eat bad luck plant. No, Petrie. You're saying that he has bad luck is the problem. Huh? It's all Spike's fault! <laughs> Surprise, Skywater! Happens all the time! And the sky puppies we saw earlier usually mean Skywater later. But still... Uh, could we talk about this somewhere drier? Look! The water's jumping! If Ruby says there is water that jumped, then I know there is. And I want to see it. <laughs> well, we're not going anywhere with all this. Sky water? Hey! The bright circle is coming out from behind the sky puffies. Then we will go see the waters that jump. Yup, yup, yup. But nothing else better happen. The sky water caused the running mud. That's all. But what caused the sky water? <laughs> and sky fire. Sky fire bad luck. And you got a ground prickly in your foot. <gasps> ground prickly? Oh, that very bad luck. Thanks, Ducky. Well, we're not having all bad luck. The running mud slid us all the way to the end of the sheltering grass. Okay. Everybody ready? I think yes. so. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Well, let's get this over with. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, everything fine. Everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine. We're almost where we're going. I think she's right, because I can smell something. It's not so bad once you get past the stinky pools, remember? That sure smells bad. Yup, yup, yup. I still don't see jumping water. <gasps> wow. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just wait. You still have to see what you haven't seen yet. Now, do you believe the jumping waters exist, Sarah? Bam, 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 bam. 
What was that? <gasps> Spike? Huh? <laughs> you are covered in mud. But I am glad you are okay. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh no. Oh no. 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 Uh oh, Spike. The stinky pools have made you stinky. Worse than usual. See? Bad luck. Oh, this day doomed from the start. Let's just get him cleaned up. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still smell bad? We get the mud off. <coughs> oh, no, oh, he still smell. Bad luck. Well, we have to go home now anyway. Is I can still smell him. From now on, everybody listen to Petrie. Petrie, right? Spike make bad luck when he eat tickly red tree stars. You know, Petrie, I. <laughs> You do, Chomper. Sharp teeth like you can smell things much better than we do. So if we don't like the smell, Red Claw must hate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank, thank you! Thank Spike! Oh, Spike! It good luck you fell in mud and smell so bad. Wait! First it was bad luck, now it's good luck? It wasn't good luck. It was good thinking, right, Spike? <laughs> First time for everything. Good luck, bad luck, me no care, as long as we safe. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> Your smell is not so bad. No, no, no. 